Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here. Welcome to the M Live Morning Weather Update, and uh, we'll get right into the rainfall for the weekend. Uh, you know, the long story short, Friday afternoon, the main batch of rain comes into western Lower Michigan. By Friday night, Saturday morning, it's wet everywhere. And then it's kind of transitioning to the southeast part of the state Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. And Sunday isn't really that wet, depending on where you're at. So let's get on in tour and show you what's going on. Uh, this is the current radar. And today is generally going to be a very nice day for most areas. The rain down through the Chicago area, northern Indiana, having a tough time holding together. So Yes, the very southern fringes, you may have some showers this morning, but we'll look at the radar forecast and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, good morning, Carl Yo. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm on Safui. Hopefully I got that one right. That's a tongue twister like Torre Grossa. Uh, welcome. Thanks for watching the M Live Morning Weather Update. I'm meteorologist Mark Torre Grossa. So, satellite picture. Showing the storm system out to the west. See the spinning curl out there in Colorado, in uh, Nebraska? That's the storm center. And you can definitely see that it's still way off to the west and heading our way. So the general scenario is that uh, we get the showers increasing. So here's a radar forecast now. And let me give you a good... Uh, let me give you a good perspective here. Okay, so here's the radar forecast. And we go through this afternoon. This is noon. So, you know, Grand Rapids area, Kalamazoo, Jackson, you may have thicker clouds. You might have sidewalk freckles, as I call them. This is this afternoon at 2 and 3 and 4 o'clock. So maybe spritzels or a light shower showing up anywhere from Saginaw, Flint, down through Detroit, Ann Arbor, and to the south. But very light. Most of the area is uh, staying dry just with... Uh, cloudiness in the air. This is this evening. And so northern sections, Traverse City, you're still dry until, now this is midnight. So I think this is a more solid area of light to moderate rain. And this is overnight tonight. This is tomorrow morning. So the showers shift into the northern part of the state on Friday. And now here's one thing I want everybody to know and watch out for. Friday could be surprisingly better than you currently think because of the forecast you've currently, other than mine, uh, been looking at. We can get into the warm sector of the storm system, which could be dry and could have several hours of very nice weather on Friday. Work skipper Friday? marginal and that's kind of rare that you've ever heard me say not skip work right all right so let's go back to this and gives you a good scenario so this is noon this is one o'clock friday afternoon so you're starting to get into the rain on the west side of the state uh, this is friday afternoon four o'clock grand rapids you've probably turned wet lansing you're turning wet in the friday Af late afternoon, evening hours, and everybody, by the time we get to Friday evening, uh, you know, instead of the, I don't want to hurt business, but, you know, I do forecast weather, instead of the outside dining that you would do in the summer, you better find your favorite restaurant that you like, the inside ambience. The, now, this is midnight, Friday night, early Saturday morning, so we're all socked in by showers, starting to get a little bit heavier rain. This is Saturday morning, 6 a.m., 7, 8 a.m., and now the storm center shifting to the east, so the rain kind of collapses 
into the southeast part of the state. This is noon Saturday. So Saginaw, the Thumb, Ann Arbor, all of the Detroit area, probably going to be fairly wet Saturday morning, Saturday early afternoon. And it probably lasts into the evening on Saturday. We pick up with the European model to give us a, a good feel for the entire weekend and next week. So here it is, Friday afternoon into evening. Friday evening into overnight. Hey, good morning, Derek Wetters. Thanks for watching. Josh Nichols, good morning. Randy Safransky and Kayla Castle. Uh, Liz Diefenbos, looks like a good weekend for Mackinac Island. Okay, that's a great question. Yeah, it doesn't look like the rain makes it much farther north than the Gaylord area. You could have some, you know, drizzle, mist uh, as the cooler air moves in, but it's not the soaker of the southern part of lower Michigan. So that is a very good point. Now, this is Saturday night. This is important. This is early Sunday morning. This is Sunday morning into early afternoon. Maybe still a little showery in the thumb, misty into the Detroit area. Probably not Ann Arbor, and the rest of the state looks dry. This is Sunday afternoon into early evening. So Sunday is a lot different story than Saturday. Look at Saturday. Morning, afternoon, wet in the southern part of the state. Look at Sunday. Mostly dry. Very fallish. Van Diepenboss. Okay, I got it, Liz. Liz Van Diepenboss. I love it when people give me the um, pronunciations. You must have been in journalism because we all had to learn how to uh, do that kind of thing phonetically. I remember that was really tough to figure that out at first. We're into Tuesday now. We're dry. We're cool. We're into Wednesday. We're dry. Uh, you know, if you want to do some fall leaf viewing and avoid the crowd, next Tuesday, Wednesday, prime time probably, northern Michigan. This is Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, spotty showers, but no big put-together storm system. Total rainfall. The European has backed off a little bit in the north and east, like the Saginaw area still. It's coming up with six, seven tenths. I think that's probably a pretty good call. Um, and then you get to the Grand Rapids area, and it's an inch, and I think that's probably a pretty good idea, too. Uh, Big Rapids, probably an inch. Muskegon, uh, Kalamazoo, Jackson, Lansing, maybe approaching an inch or so. Uh, Detroit area, maybe a half inch, maybe a little more. Uh, John K. I'm going to call you unless you can give me the pronunciation of that one too. Uh, only two vowels in your name, John. Let's work on that. What's Friday evening football look like for Alpina? Well, what the heck? Let's go back for John. Friday evening. Let's go back to here. Uh, let's see. Let's go to... Uh, Six o'clock. What does it look like in Alpena? It looks wet. I would say steady, light to maybe moderate rainfall. All right, temperatures. Now, everybody got, you know, can I, can I say this? Can I say this? Everybody got their panties in a bunch. When I wrote a post in like September 24th or so that we're going to start October really warm. And we did. Remember, we had six days in the 80s. Some days were almost 30 degrees above normal. And then I wrote a post that there's some cooler air sneaking, and everybody just went crazy. What happened to the entirely warm October? I said, relax. We're going to have a couple of cool spells, about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than normal, not like the 30 degrees above normal. And now the warmth is starting to inch back in and nose out the uh, more cooler temperatures. So that's what you're going to see in here. And what is it? It's just the 800-pound gorilla. Is that the word? Global warming. 
um, you know, taking over, and we see that in the fall. So it erodes away what the models think will be uh, cooler temperatures. So here we go. Today, not bad, around 60 degrees. Tomorrow, of course, clouds and showers, cooler temperatures. Hey, you're welcome, John. Alpena, beautiful area. Beautiful, beautiful area. Un, undiscovered still to this day. Uh, let's see. So Saturday, we're cool in the 50s. Sunday in the low 50s. Monday in the 50s. Tuesday in the 50s. Then we start to work off the cool. Jump back to the low 60s. And then next Thursday, low 60s, maybe some mid 60s. And next Friday in the 60s. And 10 days out Saturday in the 60s. And look what's building to the west, low 60s. Hey, Brett. Machino, if yeah, that's a that is a good that is a very valid point. Uh, point well taken. Uh, okay, so low temperatures, no frost anywhere in sight. This was this morning. Maybe there was a light frost. Then we're in the 40s. We have clouds a lot for the next several days. So 40s, uh, 40s. Monday in the 40s. Tuesday in the 40s. Wednesday in the 40s. Thursday in the 40s in the morning. Friday. Uh, maybe in the low 50s, Saturday in the 40s and 50s. Huh. People say, uh, Rick says I keep cutting out. I don't know if that's true or not. It could be my internet connection. It could be yours. All right. So, now here's the extended stuff that you don't get anywhere else. And what I'm going to talk to you about is the extended. So we're going to look, first look at the mid-levels of the atmosphere and if it's compressed and cooler than normal or expanded and warmer than normal. This is how we give you a general sense of what's coming up into the future. And I would say the general story for Michigan is that we're going to be about normal and maybe then trend to above normal, warmer than normal temperatures as we get out uh, 10 days out or so. But I have to bang on everybody's head. Remember, warmer than normal. So every two days now, we're losing one degree of heat. If you look at our average temperature over the last 30 years, so let's say it's 62 right now somewhere. Two days from now, it's 61. Two more days, four days out, it's 60. Six days out, it's 59. Eight days out, it's 58. Ten days out, it's 57. So when I talk about warmer than normal, low 60s is uh, actually a warmer than normal situation. So let's show you what I'm talking about here now. So you're looking at, now this is the guts of meteorology, and I just talked to a great group of students at the CMU meteorology program last night. I went there, I talked to them. We had a great time. In fact, if any of you are watching, thanks for inviting me. It's great to see, I would say 50 students or so that are going to be meteorologists and uh, we talked about uh, the warming atmosphere um, we talked about all of this good stuff and so just want to say hi to those I don't those uh, students I don't know where I was going with this but here we go so this is the European this is our storm system that's coming toward us oh I'm sorry let me back to it okay so this is the mid levels of the atmosphere and if we're warmer or cooler than normal watch the storm watch this heat up to the north in Canada very very strong climate situation how do we have uh, extreme continuously extreme winter when the polar regions are warming that's our source for extreme cold and that does not mean that I'm saying we'll never have snow or never have a cold stretch in the winter, this winter. It just means that a winter starting November 15th and ending April 15th, continuous frozen ground, snow on the ground, that's going to be very hard to do uh, in most of Michigan. And, you know, maybe, maybe uh, still from Traverse City northward, you're going to do it, but it's even there, it's going to be marginal. But where I'm going with this is look at how the heat up to the north just squashes 
this storm system coming through our area. See how it's a big circle out to the west in the plains, a strong storm, and it just squashes it and actually shifts it down in the southeast. Those folks in Florida, uh, Kendall Bailey, do we not close our pool yet or do we still not put our boat away yet? You could use your boat still. Um, it'll be 60s in the afternoon. Mm, so, you know, it's up to you. Now, next week, look at the atmosphere starting to warm. Look at next weekend. Uh, even though when we're in the northwest flow, it's kind of a, a little bit above normal northwest flow. Now we're to October 24th. Trough on the east coast, ridge on the west. We're in the northwesterly flow. Um, that would give us, you know, about normal conditions. Now we're out 16 days, and we're in a northwesterly flow. Al Gross, what about next month for hunting season? Probably warmer than normal. And one last thing. This is, these are the temperatures deviations from normal on that same model. So we get our little cool spell. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Then we inch back to warmer than normal by Thursday. And then look at Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Again, warmer than normal, meaning in the 60s. Hey, good morning, Rob Guzdala from Frankenmuth. And Kimberly Hageman, thanks for watching. Okay, and now we're out to the middle of next week, October 25th. And now we're out to the end of our data um, Friday, October 27th, and we're about normal. But the cold pockets are very isolated for sure. All right, there we have it. We're going to be wet Friday, Friday night, Saturday. We're not going to be wet for the most part on Sunday. So if you want to do something outside, plan on Sunday versus Saturday. And we're shaking off we're shaking off the cool and going back to the 60s it looks like next week really no signs of uh, a frost just yet at all hey thanks for joining me on the m live morning weather update i'm m live chief meteorologist mark torregrossa